four months since the last video. Well, I'm back. So, four months ago I did my last collector's video and in that video I said I was looking for a number of figures um, I know 100% one was the Doctor from Series 2 with a wire around his neck and I've been buying figures continuously since then and I've moved on to other things and I didn't even realise I hadn't updated you so as you can see I've got a pile of figures here I've also got some down here and I'm going to show you what I've purchased over the past few months. Unfortunately, I have already unboxed all these, so it won't be an unboxing video. To start off, the first figure we've got, the Doctor with the wire. Now, I did say I wanted this figure in the previous video, and I managed to track it down and buy it. Unfortunately, it, the Doctor didn't come with his Sonic. It was mint in box, but... It just finishes the collection for my Series 2 because now I believe I have every figure from Series 2 in my possession. Okay, so the next figure I got was part of a bundle. Um, it was a bundle for four, but it was duplicate, so I've only bought the two down. And it was a Series 2 Ood along with a Series 5 Nephew Ood. Now, I was looking for this figure in particular. The main reason I was looking for this figure is because I hadn't got it in my Series 5 collection. And apart from the San Diego Comic Con exclusives, where it was, I believe, the Winston Churchill and Ironside Dalek on the teacup, and the Doctor Who exclusive of Amy Pond with, well, Amelia Pond with her little cases she'd packed, and the Ron Williams. I have got every figure from that set. So that's the main reason I got the Ood. And it was just part of a bundle and it was cheaper to buy it as a bundle than it was on its own. So the next figure I've got is the Ninth Doctor. Um, this is the one where he's got the arm from first episode Rose. He did originally come with a Mickey head, which I could not get this figure with. And it was just kind of to add to my shelf. Because on my shelf, I've, as I will show you in a later video, I've got the Doctors displayed on the top of the companions. And then I do have duplicates to go on the shelf. And unfortunately, I haven't got a Series 1 Christopher Eccleston on the shelf. I am looking to get the Disco Dancing variant, which looks like this. But at the moment, I'm happy with the ones that I've got. Now let's move on to the boxed collections. So I've got a fair bit here. Most of this is from B&M. Then I've got a little bit here from B&M and some exclusives. So the first one I've got is the Dalek Collector Set 2. I have opened this set and just put it back in the box of storage really. I I do like the idea of these sets and I know they've released Series 3 and 4 now. Not Series 3 and 4, Collector Set 3 and 4, sorry. And I would like to get them but at the moment I just don't see the fault of me getting them because... I, at this moment I just don't see why I should get them because I've got nowhere to display them and they're just staying in their box and going back into storage so this is collector set 2 and I've also as previously stated got collector set 1 now I do like it here on the back it tells you a bit more about the story of it and they are really good figures I have opened this one as well but once again just nowhere to display them I've got all my modern series Daleks on display, but I've got some classic Daleks and they're all just upstairs in storage. So I don't see myself continuing collecting these unless there is a set which I would like in the modern style and I could army build. Unfortunately, I don't see my get me getting any more of these history sets. Continuing on with the Dalek, it's kind of a Dalek collection at the moment. 
I also got the Jungles of Mechanist Daleks, which also are the movie Daleks from the Eighth Doctor. Now, this has not been opened yet, so I've only admired them in the packaging. And I am thinking of adding on an Eighth Doctor part on my shelf. But for me to do that, I would need to buy another three shelves, and then that would just extend more. And then, being as I like the Daleks so much, I've got so many, I might have the Daleks on, I might not. But this was an online exclusive for character, which they've got on the top here. Um, I'm surprised that they didn't add a sticker on like the BNN ones, but it's what they do. And I got this when it was released, I actually pre ordered this. And yeah, it's a nice set. It's all been classic so far, really, hasn't it? From box figures. So, moving on, a BM set which I picked up was the Companions of the Fourth Doctor. Now, I'm not majorly a classic fan. I've watched a lot of the classic episodes, but I don't really appreciate it as much as I appreciate the modern series. But once again, my doctor was David Tennant, so I have grew up with the modern series, so I'm stepping back to the lower budget maybe has hindered that. But this has never been opened, and I just like it because we've got the Sarah Jane figure. Now, I've only got one upstairs, now I've got two, and I'm probably never going to open this, keep it for a few years. And yeah, I, I just really do like this set, and it was unique because we never had these mods before in face scans. And they have released the repainted version, which I'm not going to get because I've got this set. I don't really believe I need another set. So that's this set. And the last set from BM Classic Series is the Unit 1971 set from the Cause of Atmos. Um, I've never had. I've got one big. I've got one big day figure, and I did want him in the classic unit green colour. And it came with the two Sergeant Benson, and if I can remember right, Mike Yates. So I thought, yeah, it's £20 to get Benson on. Uh, I thought, yeah, it's £20 to get the big deal on his own. In his outfit, it's around about 15 So for the other two figures, I might as well get it in its mint in box. Once again, not really into classic herb. I don't believe I saw the colours of Agnos, so I will have to watch that to understand the appreciation for these figures. So moving on from classic herb, I've got two modern herb. Yeah. So moving on from classic herb, I've got a collection of modern herb things to buy, which I've got. So moving on from classic herb, I've got a little bit of modern herb which I've got. But it is all from the Jolde era. So I understand that it's mixed feelings at the moment. But I do like it. And I'm going to show you the figures which I've got. So I got the original Friends and Foe of the 13th Doctor. Now I did get this twice. And I bought Ryan and Yaz on their own as well when it was first released. And you'll see more on the room tour at the end of the year I guess. But yeah I got these figures I'm going to keep these mint in box and it is just a great set to be honest I mean Yaz and Ryan as we've already saw online look uncanny and the new to do and trooper gun really does go well with the set especially on display another set I've got is the repainted friends of the 13th doctor set now I might open this I'm unsure but it's just a great set, it's a straight repaint, but it really, really does show variation on the shelf for what I will have in the future. That is another set which I've got, and I am extremely happy with. The last boxed modern era item I've got is the US exclusive Jolly in Blue. Now, this did cost more than I would like to have paid for it, but once again, it's an exclusive, so... It's on the back of the box as well, advertising it, so I'm just glad I've got it, to be honest. And it will just add some more variation to the Jolly shelf. We've Series 13 about to come out in next year now, I believe, actually. Later next year. But with the new Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's special, 
I'm not sure what which one it is, I believe it will be Christmas. With that coming out, I've started to get into Modern Who a bit more than I did before. Then the last figure which I've got is in fact a custom figure, and it is a custom figure of the Master from the Jolly era. Now, I know it's a custom, so it, it's one of those where you take what you get, but I am extremely happy with this. And personally, it looks just like him, in my opinion. I mean, they can make this themselves a character very easily. All they really have to do is use a 13th Doctor and a Captain Jack head sculpt with the beard added on and repainted, which this, I believe, is, but I'm not 100% sure. So moving on from the figures, I've also started to collect new things. So I'm going to put a recording up on my phone and show you some of the latest things which I have been buying. So online, I've been purchasing a lot. So as you can see here, Big Finish Torchwood, I've got all three parts of Aliens Amongst Us, all three parts of God Amongst Us, all three versions of The Lives of Captain Jack. Torchwood believe the uh, the archive of Torchwood and the sins of Captain John. Now those are all specials which have been released, which I now own. Um, I've also been getting into the audio books of Torchwood, so I've got a small collection here. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of Torchwood audio dramas to listen to, and to be honest, these are extremely good, and I'm glad that I've got them. And another thing which I have been purchasing is obviously Time Lord Victorious, which has been happening. So here I've got part one and part two of the, what is this one called? I can't remember what this one is called, I believe it's Defender of the Daleks. Um, it's just the two comics and they are great and they lead perfectly on to the next audio drama which I had bought, which is, if I can show you one here, which is Time Lord Victorious, He Kills Me, He Kills Me Not, which then leads on to Time Lord Victorious, The Enemy of My Enemy. Now I bought both of those and I've also bought Doctor Who, the Time Lord Victorious Short Chips of the Master. That is what most of my money over the past four months has gone on to be honest. The audio dramas, these figures here, the custom and these loose figures here and to be honest I'm glad with it. Unfortunately most of the box figures are going to be spending their life in storage until I get a better display but I do plan on adding these figures all my loose figures to the display right away and then potentially adding the Joel D and the 13th Doctors, the Friends of the 13th Doctors to the set. If you've liked what you've seen here, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.